Welcome Gold viewers from around the world. I'm Fleur Bickford, Program Director and MC for Gold Neonatal 2018. I am talking today with Dr. Shovik Mitra about his upcoming presentation titled Automated Control of Inspired Oxygen. Is it the future of oxygen therapy in preterm infants? So Dr. Mitra, thank you for being with us today and welcome. Thanks for, for having me here. So we're going to chat just a little bit about uh, kind of your background and your upcoming presentation. So maybe to start with, you can just tell us a little bit about yourself and your professional journey. Okay. So um, hello, everyone. Uh, uh, I'm Shovik Mitra I'm from Halifax, Nova Scotia, which if uh, you're wondering where on earth that is, that's on the eastern coast of Canada. Uh, and I'm a staff neonatologist here at Dalhousie University. Um, regarding my professional journey, I've had an interesting journey. Um, I've, I've trained across three continents. I started off my professional training back in India and then moved over to Norway where I did a little bit of my neonatal training at Oslo University Hospital before moving to McMaster University uh, in Hamilton in Canada where I did my uh, neonatal fellowship uh, and also I'm currently doing my master's in clinical epidemiology. Since I finished my fellowship at McMaster I then moved over to the East Coast here as a staff, neon staff neonatologist um, and along with my clinical work I am, I am an, you can call me an in innovation enthusiast. I love uh, innovations in new innovations in neonatal care um, and a lot of my research is around how to use new technology to improve neonatal outcomes such as one that I'm going to talk about now is automated control of inspired oxygen some of my other research includes um, use of cerebral oximeters to non-invasively monitor brain oxygenation in preterm infants. And yeah, that's 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 what I do. Wow. So thank you so much for sharing. And that's really interesting to hear that, you know, you've basically you've been doing this in, in three different countries between India, Norway and now Canada. Um, so I'm really curious, like what um, I'm throwing a off topic question here at you, but um, you know, in your experiences within the, the three different countries, mm -hmm. I'm wondering what you've noticed in the way of like similarities and differences in terms of neonatal care. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's, that, that's a very interesting question. Obviously, the big difference is resource. In India, mm -hmm. as you all know, it is a resource limited country. So you need to be a bit creative with your healthcare and you and innovation does play a big role um, so as you move west to Norway you are more resource rich and therefore your outcomes are definitely better um, and then when you move further uh, west to Canada you're kind of in between uh, like not as resource rich as Norway but pretty resource rich and a lot of similarities between the Norwegian system and the Canadian system um, especially in terms of uh, current practices um, guidelines um, and also research so I don't find a huge difference between the Norwegian and the Canadian system but yes it is very different from uh, my initial uh, like training back in India. So interesting. Thank you so much for sharing. Um, so next question I have for you is just wondering how did you become interested in the topic of oxygenation in preterm infants, which is part of what you're going to be talking to us about for the conference. Just curious about how that interest came about and why you feel it's so important. Yeah. So oxygenation is like oxygenation in premature infants is part of my research work 
Um, and as I said, uh, that I'm doing uh, some work with brain oxygenation in extreme preterm infants. So we're always trying to figure out ways to improve uh, oxygenation or optimize oxygenation in, in premature babies because, and I'll, I'll be talking about that in more detail on how that is linked to long-term outcomes. So when the, the question came up on the use of automated control, um, in our NICU, before we adopted this practice, we thought that let's look at what's out there in terms of literature, and we realized there is hardly anything in terms of a proper synthesis of evidence. There's a lot of research, uh, sporadic research in different parts of the world, but nothing was really put together in a, in a more systematic way, and that mm -hmm. With with my epidemiology background, we thought that uh, we should we should put everything together as a, as a systematic review before we adopt the practice, and then we ended up doing a systematic review last year, and that we published that early this year uh, in Journal of Neonatology, and yeah, um, that that basically got me more interested into this topic, and that's why I'm here in front of you presenting um, what like what I know and what I understand about about automated control of oxygen. Wonderful, and we are very excited to learn more. So as we just finish up with the interview here, perhaps you can just finish up by telling us a little bit about what you hope delegates are going to be able to take away from this presentation and take back to their own practices. Yeah, so the first and foremost, I would want the delegates to realize why is it at all important to talk about regulating oxygen saturation tightly in premature infants. Do we at all need it? Do we at all need to do it? So that would be the first part of the presentation and we're going into the reasons behind the need for it. Mm -hmm. Then I would want the delegates to realize or understand what are the different ways by which we can improve what we are doing. And one of those ways, obviously, is automating the whole process. And then I would go into uh, talking about how this is being done and what is the whole uh, science behind it and the evidence behind it so that you could make an evidence-based choice in your back in your own units if you decide to adopt this new innovation. Okay, wonderful. Well, we are very excited to hear more in your upcoming presentations. So thank you so much for chatting with us today. And for all of our delegates who are listening, to hear more from Dr. Shovik Mitra, you can uh, just visit the Gold Neonatal website for more information about this upcoming presentation and lots of other great presentations also coming up. And that's at goldneonatal.com. Thanks, everyone, for listening. Bye for now.